hospitality has had a roasting. From local cafes to swankier joints, the pandemic made it hard to make ends meet in lockdown and out. Now, with restrictions tightening again across the UK, restaurateurs are left stewing. We really need um, something akin to the original furlough scheme, but something that takes into account the trunk payments, that, that's the tips that um, hospitality employees earn. So something that's getting people up to 80% of their normal salary. UK Finance Minister Rishi Sunak has announced new measures, including backdated cash grants for hospitality workers. It's the third major support announcement in less than a month, after he was slammed for not going far enough to help firms through the winter. Support for people's jobs and incomes, all on top of over £200 billion of support since March. This is our plan. A plan for jobs, for businesses, for the regions, for the economy, for the country. A plan to support the British people. And support is what they need. The latest survey of the UK economy found that nearly one in five hospitality firms see a severe risk of going bust. Another 21% are facing a moderate risk of collapse. And 7% have no cash reserves, leaving them very vulnerable. Stepping out of the kitchen, waiting staff, hoteliers, baristas, chefs and more are campaigning for the government to rethink the new pandemic restrictions and consider the long-term economic squeeze. Organisers say otherwise, three quarters of a million people could be out of a job in the next four months. Things like the 10 p.m. curfew really don't seem to make any sense at all. The fact that you know, a third rush hour has been created with all these people um, going out onto the streets who've been drinking all evening and possibly not in their normal state of mind just seems to be absolute madness. Despite hospitality in the UK being an $170 billion industry responsible for more than 3 million jobs, there's no government minister for hospitality to represent the interests of these businesses. The sector argues that they need representation as well as a long-term support plan.